Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and in this video we are talking about writing numbers as a product of uh, their prime factors. Um, it's our GCSE higher revision list. Um, just before we go on, just remember what the purpose of these videos are for very quick sharp focused revision on key topics mainly at grade C and B to secure those grades for you in your uh, higher GCSE. For higher grades A and A star etc check out the website and for more detailed instructions. Okay this video is about writing a number as a product of its primes. Before you can do that you have to learn the prime numbers and you have to know the following. The first prime is 2, the next prime is 3, the next prime is 5, the next one is 7, the next one is 11, the next one is 13, the next one is 17, and the next one is 19. Okay, so they're the primes we've got to learn. And what is a prime? A prime is a number uh, with only two distinct factors. For example, 2 can only be written as 2 multiplied by 1. Uh, its factors are 1 and itself. Similarly, 13. 13, the only factors, the only numbers that divide into 13 are 13 and 1. So 13 can only be written as the factor pair 13 multiplied by 1. Whereas 9, on the other hand, isn't prime. It's what's called composite because you could, uh, the factors of 9 are 1 and 9. So 1 multiplied by 9, but also 3 and 3 because 3 multiplied by 3 is also 9. So it's got 1, 2, 3 distinct factors, whereas primes have 2 distinct factors. Check the website for much more details about this. Here are three examples of typical exam questions that come up. Write 60 as a product of its primes. What you do, write 60 at the top. And you look at the, your list of prime numbers and you start with 2 and you say, uh, can 60 divide, be divided by 2? And 2 is prime. And you circle prime. Yes, it can because it's 2 multiplied by 30. Now 30 is a composite number, it's not prime. So you go back up to your list and you start with 2 and can it be divided by 2? Yes, it's 2 multiplied by 15. And then you look up at your list again, 15 is composite, it's not prime. Can uh, 15 be divided exactly by 2? No. Um, so you go to uh, 3 and it can be written as 3 multiplied by 5 and 5 is prime as well. So. That's uh, your factor tree, it's called, but you have to write it as a product of prime. So 60 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. And you could write that in power notation as 2 squared multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. So that is your answer, 60 as a product of primes, or the one above. Okay, let's write 225 as a product of primes. So firstly, start off by writing 225 down, 225 like that. And ask yourself, does uh, 2 divide into it? Well, uh, you can't divide 225 exactly by 2. Now you ask yourself, does 3 divide into it? Well, yes, it does. And why? Well, because um, um, 2 add 2 add 5 is, is equal to 9. And when the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, so is the whole number. So you could certainly divide it by 3. Now it's three times what? Well, what you could do is you could do one of two things. You could go away and do two, two, five divided by three as a division over here. So what you could do is you could say, um, does three divide into two? No. Does three divide into 22? Yes. It goes in seven times remainder one. And does three go into 15? Yes, five. So it'd be 75. Okay, or you could realize that uh, 3 times 70 is 210, and that leaves you with 15, so uh, and 3 times 5 is 15. But anyway, um, it, that's what you could do. 75 is, is composite, so you look at the prime numbers. Does 2 go into it? No. Does 3? Well, 7 and 5 is 12, and that's divisible um, by, sorry, I shouldn't have circled that. I should have just written 75. It's composite. So 75 is divisible by 3 because 7 and 5 is 12. So you divide that by 3. And you could go off and do a division here again. But you should be able to see what that is. It's 25. But does 3 go into 7? Yes, it goes twice. Remainder 1. Does 3 go into 15? Yet yeah, 5 times. So it's 25. Again, 25 is composite. You ask yourself, does 2 divide into it exactly? No. Does 3 or 2 at 5 is 7, and 7 is not divisible by 3, so no. But you know 5 does, and it's 5 multiplied by 5. 
So 225, you could write this as 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5, and you could even write that in power notation as 3 squared uh, multiplied by uh, 5 squared, like that. And lastly, a, a little slight twist on the question here, we've got 30 squared as a product of primes. Th remember, 30 squared here means 30 times 30. So if we actually worked out 30 as a product of primes, and then uh, whatever we get, we could uh, in have two sets of those products of primes as our answer. Let me show you what I mean. 30, you would say, does 2 go into it? Yes, 15. You would say, does 2? No. You would go to 3 and say it's 3 times 5. So 30 can be written as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. So 30 times 30, well, it's 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 30 again, which we said was 2 multiplied by 3 by 5. So you could write that. There's 2 2, so 2 squared multiplied by uh, 3 squared multiplied by 5 squared. A little twist there, just in case that comes up. Anyway, that's everything you need on writing a number as a product of primes. Here are the four times it's ever come up in the exam. Pause the video, try each question, and I'll show you the answers in 10 seconds. Okay, writing 120 as product of primes, you would say 120, you would, uh, you would write your primes 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and you would divide it by 2, it's 2 times 60, you would divide that by 2, it's 2 times 30, you would divide that by 2, it's 2 times 15, 2 doesn't go in exactly to 15, so you would have 3 times 5. And you would write 120 as 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 5, or you could write it with indices as 2 cubed multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. Done. Next one, 5 to 5 is a product of its primes. So 5 to 5, you could say, does 2 divide into it? Well, no. Does 3, 5 add 2 is 7, add 5 is 12. So 3 does. So you could go over here and divide 3 into it. Does 3 go into 5? Yes, once. Remainder 2. Does 3 go into 22? 7. Remainder 1. Does 3 go into 15? Yes, 5 times. So it would be 3 multiplied by 175. Then you ask yourself, uh, does 2 go into it? No. Does 3 go into it? Well, if you add these up, you get 13. So that's not divisible by 3. So no. Does 5? Well, yes, 5 goes into it. And you could go over here and work out 5 going into it. Does 5 go into 1? None. Does 5 go into 17? Yes, 3 times remainder 2. Does 5 go into 25? Yes, 5 times. So it would be 35. Again, does 2 go into it? Does 3 go into it? No, but you end up with 5 multiplied by 7. So 5 to 5 can be written as 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7 or 3 multiplied by 5 squared multiplied by 7. Either way. Okay, now two more questions that have come up on it. Pause the video, have a go. I go through in 10 seconds. Pause the video. Okay, so write 66 as a product of its primes. So you write your primes, they're 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, etc. So you write 66, does 2 go into it? Yes, uh, 33 times, 2 multiplied by 33. Does 2 go into this? Not, no, not exactly. Does 3? Yes, 3 multiplied by 11, and 11's prime. So 66, you can write that as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 11. Now this was the tricky bit. 1, 3, 2 squared as a product of its prime. Now you'll notice, look at 1, 3, 2. It's exactly double 66. This is part A and part B. So 1, 3, 2 squared, what does it mean? It means 1, 3, 2 multiplied by 1, 3, 2, right? Now if we could write 1, 3, 2 as a product of its primes, then we'd be done. Well, we know it's double 66. It's 2 multiplied by 66, right? And we know 66 is 2 times 3 times 11. So we could write 132 as this 2 multiplied by 66, which is 2 times 3 times 11. So that's 132. So what's 132 squared? It's this times by itself. So it's 2 times 2 times 3 times 11 for that 132 
multiplied by 2 times 2 times 3 times 11, which we can write as we've got a 2 times a 2 is 2 squared, times another 2 is 2 cubed, times another 2 is 2 to the power of 4. Then we've got 3 multiplied by 3, which is 3 squared, and we've got 11 multiplied by 11, which is 11 squared. Just checking on the calculator, that's right. I'll, if I type 2 uh, to the power of 4 times 3 squared times 11 squared, I get 17424. And if I type 132 squared, I get 17424. So I'm done now. Hopefully you found that useful in your revision of writing a number as a product of its prime factors.